It's track and field season, and I hope to be the leading runner in the hundred meter dash. Is all my training paying off? I list my times from the last five meets and put them in order from slowest to fastest. When we've done that, we'll know if I'm improving or not. Ready to take it step by step? Since all the numbers have a two in the tens place, we can compare them using the numbers in the ones place. So we really have seven, five, two, three, four. That's easy. The next step is to find the highest number, my slowest time. Then find the next highest number, then the next. As you can see, twenty-seven is higher than all the other numbers. Great. Can you order the rest of the times from highest to lowest? When we're done comparing all the times, I can see that I was at my speediest, twenty-two seconds, at meet three. I need to pick up my training to beat that time. If the numbers you're comparing are really high, it gets a little trickier. You'll need to compare them one place value at a time, starting on the left. The other day in PE, we had a jump till you trip contest. We all had to count how many times we could jump rope before tripping. Even Mrs. Kelly participated. Let's compare the number of jumps to see who won this contest. Line up the numbers so you can compare the place values on the left. Right away, we know that Zoe completed the most jumps because her number is the only one with the digit in the hundreds place. Set the highest number aside and compare the next place values on the left. The highest number in the tens place is six. That's RJ. Now let's get the rest of these numbers in order. So we're still looking at the tens place to order the last three numbers. Since four is bigger than three and three is bigger than one. That makes the rest of the order forty-five, then thirty-two, then eighteen. So we know that Zoe won the prize with a hundred and fifty jumps, and RJ came in second. I guess jump roping isn't my thing. Even Mrs. Kelly beat me. Our school was deep into penny wars this week. Each class gets a jar and has to add pennies to it. But if you add anything bigger than a penny, it counts against the total. That makes things interesting. There was some real sabotage going on, but now that the war is over, we have to line up the totals to know which class gets the pizza party.